Hello, I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon. Today we're going to t talk about uh, different options with the tools that you have. And so Illustrator is great because it has all these tools that you can use to build shapes and do all sorts of different things. Um, but some of the things that you can do with these tools are buried or they're, maybe they're just not straightforward. And so I'm going to show you a few of them today. And okay, so let's uh, let's start with the star tool. Some tools have uh, sub options that you wouldn't really know unless you somebody told you that they were there. And let's say if you're going to draw it a star, you know if you hold shift, it will make it straight. But if you use the up and down arrows you can adjust how many sides it has. So if you press down twice, you'll get a triangle. If you press up multiple times, that's how many points that the star will have. So you can just keep going. But if you want a lot of control, what you can do is hold down Option and click. And this will come up, and you, it will tell you exactly how big your star will be. And so you can also adjust how many points. So let's say we want a 10 point star with a radius of 50 pixels and a radius 2 of 10 pixels. I'm not sure how this will turn out, but we'll see. And so there you go. You have a custom star, and it, you know it looks like maybe it could be a twinkle or something, maybe off of something shiny, you know. But but it's perfectly uniform. And imagine trying to do this by hand somehow. You don't have to do that because you can just use the adjustments inside the sub settings of the tool by holding Alt. Really, really quick and easy. And so, let's say, we'll go back to the star tool. We'll go back to 50 and 25. That's usually the normal setting. We'll go back to 5. So we just have a normal star. I've shown you the uh, rotate tool in the past uh, couple of tutorials. And uh, just a, a quick refresh, if you want to rotate something around uh, a certain point, you can just hold Alt. And, you know, normally you would just click and it would rotate. You could rotate it in 360. But if you hold down Alt or Option and click a certain point, like uh, one of the points of the star, you can choose to make it rotate a certain amount of degrees and you can even create a copy and you can do this in a multiple of 360 and create any kind of perfect spiral shape but you the, also, the same thing also applies to the reflect tool and so If you hold down Alt, you have this option, uh, Alt or Option. You, these options come up, and you can choose whether it reflects up and down, or left to right, or at an angle. And so if I choose Horizontal and say Copy, you have a perfect copy. And then I can just adjust it with the arrow keys. And this is a quick way to create complex patterns and shapes as well in a matter of seconds. So then if I select this and go back and hit Alder Option again, I can choose to reflect it the other way and say via copy. And I can adjust it 
and you have a, a custom built pattern that's uh, all about symmetry. And it's just some of the interesting things that you can do with these type of shapes. So let me just grab another star again. A little bit bigger this time. And if you have one of these tools, like the warp, twirl, pucker, bloat, scallop, all these different kind of stool, uh, tools, you can do uh, the same thing with these as well. So they, they have little sub options and you can make adjustments. So normally, if you're going to use uh, the bloat tool, the size of the circle tells you how big it's going to bloat. And so if you keep it held down, that's how, that's how large it's going to be. To make this easy, all you have to do is hold down Alt or Option, and you can adjust the size and shape of the bloat. So if you wanted more of an ellipse, you can uh, hold down Alt or Option and drag to the left. Or if you wanted more of a horizontal ellipse, you can hold down Alt or Option and drag up and down and make it thinner or, or taller. And so let's say we just want to make it smaller. And so now that gives us ultimate control. If we go inside of our shape and click and hold, it gives us ultimate control over the size of our bloat. And it, it's in a matter of seconds, making it really easy. You can make a deputy start in five seconds with that. And so this is just some of the, the interesting things you can do with the tools inside of Adobe Illustrator. Um, let's, say, let's say the free transform tool. You can, you can have all sorts of options. If you were going to click and drag, normally it would just determine the scale. But if you hold down Alt, that makes it scale via the center. If you hold down shift, that makes it scale uh, proportionally via the center. If you hold down command with that, so it's command, alter option, and shift together, you can control how it scales via perspective. And you just have to move, you kind of have to move your mouse around to, to get a feel for how it's going to work. And so you can transform it in perspective in a matter of seconds just by holding the Alt or Option key and the Command key and the Shift key while clicking and dragging. Very quick and easy and it gives you a lot of control over all of your tools and instead of trying to flip through menus and trying to figure out what exactly is going to happen, you can just use these different keys, different keystrokes to make uh, your secondary options happen and it, it just makes working so much faster and that's why I like working with shapes in Illustrator. I can build custom shapes and interesting designs and patterns in seconds in Illustrator and it's just a go-to tool for that. I encourage you guys to explore the other tools and see what kind of other options you can come up with. Uh, if you find something really cool, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, you can always leave it in the comments section on, uh, on Creative Beacon. I hope you guys have found this useful. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.